We all want to see the biggest and the baddest home run hitters in baseball in the home run derby every season, but does it ruin their swing? Is it a big risk for these players to take participating in the home run derby? Sort of an urban legend that if you participate in the home run derby, you're going to have a bad second half. And I want to do a deep dive today, see if it's fact or fiction. All that's coming up right after this. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Adam R. Sports here, coming back at you with another MLB video. And today, we're going to be discussing there are three remaining spots on the Home Run Derby roster with Kyle Schwarber being announced, Juan Soto, Ronald Acuna Jr., Pete Alonso, and Albert Pujols. I already made a video reacting to that. If you want to check it out, I'll post it right up here for you guys. Uh, I want to talk about, should Shohei Otani participate again? He participated last year. Uh, Julio Rodriguez has been rumored. Giancarlo Stanton. I want to take a look. Is it actually going to hurt them if they participate? Before we get into today's video, don't forget to leave a like below and subscribe for more daily MLB content. You can also check out today's episode of Good Morning Baseball, a show my buddy Frank and I do every single morning. And last but not least, don't forget to sign up at Thrive Fantasy. The link is in my description. Go check it out. Bet some money. You get a 100% first deposit match up to 100 bucks and some free contest entries once you make your first deposit so go check that out and without further ado let's get into the video start talking about the historical stats of the home run derby now these are all the participants in the 2021 home run derby right here below you can see Shohei Otani, Matt Olson, Joey Gallo, Juan Soto, Pete Alonso, Trey Mancini, forgot about him, Salvador Perez, and Trevor Story the hometown hero. So this is their first half WRC plus a very simple stat where 100's league average anything above that is good anything below that isn't so good. As you can see all these players had phenomenal WRC pluses especially towards the top here you had Shohei Otani crushing it in the first half last year. Matt Olson was very good. And then towards the bottom, you know, you got Trevor Story, Salvador Perez was just above average, Trey Mancini was just above average, but overall, all these guys had pretty damn good first half, they were all slugging in the uh, mid 400s to sometimes as much as 698, Shohei was a monster last season, uh, but as you can see, you know, 33 home runs, as low as 11 home runs, these are their first half stats, none of them are too terrible, but let's take a look at their second half stats after the home run derby, see if we can find a big difference. So as you can see here, Juan Soto actually had a monster second half, almost putting up a 200 WRC+, plus. Pete Alonso had a great second half, Salvador Perez had a much better second half than first half, Matt Olson regressed a little bit, Shohei Otani regressed, regressed quite a bit, but honestly 121 is nothing to scoff at in the WRC plus department, he put up 1.2 wins above replacement offensively, Juan Soto had a 5 war second second half that is a monster second half and as you can see they all stayed relatively you know around the same spot but as you can see man Joey Gallo fell off the face of the planet I don't know if this had to do with the home run derby though or if it had to do with the fact that he was in a new ballpark with um you know with the New York Yankees he just hasn't been the same in that Yankee uniform I don't know if we can attribute that to the home run derby or if you want to attribute that to the trade the the new environment for him you know Yankee Stadium is a very high pressure environment to play in every day in and day out Trey Mancini had a rough second half. So with, when it comes to 2021 season, I feel like there isn't much correlation. You can see uh, Trevor Story actually had a better second half than first half. Juan Soto had a better second half than first half. Pete Alonso had a better second. Uh, Salvador Perez had a better second half. And here we have the 2019 participants in the Home Run Derby. You can see Pete Alonso was having a monster first half this year. So was Josh Bell, Carlos Santana. The only guy who was having a below average first half was Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And he ended up winning the Home Run Derby, of course. And then here are their second half numbers. As you can see here, we got Alex Bregman had a monster second half. And honestly, everybody had an above average second half. I will say Pete Alonso came back down to earth. Josh Bell came back down to earth but they all had above average. None of them were a below average baseball player after the All-Star break. So, I mean, call that a success, if you will. The only person who went way up in production was Alex Bregman, though. So Alex Bregman and Juan Soto are your two outliers. And here we have the 2018 participants. You can see Max Muncy had a 171 WRC Plus coming into the Home Run Derby. Bryce Harper was actually the worst, and he had 118 WRC Plus. So they were cracked. This is uh, around the time where they were juicing the baseball. I think 2019 was the biggest year for that, but... Man, 2018, there were a lot of big hitters in this lineup. They were all having great first halves. So let's see how they did in the second half. Now, realistically, they all stayed relatively the same. Uh, Jesus Aguilar kind of fell off. So did Kyle Schwarber. But all these other top guys, they did very, very well in their second halves as well. And here we are on Action Sports Network, a very good sports betting website. So shout out to them for having this ready for me so I didn't have to go looking for it. It's super nice. Uh, you can see the numbers of the guys who were in the home run derbies in 2017, 2016, 2015 from when the um, the first they first changed the rules and did the timed rounds instead of the outs 
So as you can see here, we had Mike Moustak is the 121 WRC+, Plus, Charlie Blackman 128, I forgot he participated in one, all the way up to Aaron Judge here. And as you can see, on average, Judge, 197 to 144, eh, nah, it went downhill. Miguel Sano, 136 to 95, that went down. Gary Sanchez actually had a better second half than first half by WRC+. Plus. Bellinger went down slightly, but was still good. Justin Bohr went down significantly. Giancarlo Stanton went way up, way up. Another outlier there for Giancarlo Stanton in 2017. Charlie Blackman's, his went up quite a bit, about 30 points. Mike Moustakis, his went down just a little bit. So on average, you could see 141 WRC plus in the first half, 133 in the second half. So not looking great for the pro home run derby narrative. 2016, let's see the second half. Uh, first half, we had a 129 average WRC plus versus a 105. Wow, 2016 was a rough second half for these guys. Pretty much all these guys in the second half had a bad second half with the exception of Corey Seager and Robinson Cano. And I'm pretty sure both those guys got out in the first round. So all the guys who went late, like Todd Frazier, I believe is the one. No, Todd Frazier didn't win this one. I can't remember who won this one. Oh, this is the year Mark Trumbo won it. So yeah, Mark Trumbo, the winner, he had a below average second half to the season. So this was a tough year. 2016 was a tough one. And last but not least, 2015, 143 average WRC plus in the first half versus the 113 in the second half. So actually, earlier in the year, like 2015 to 2017, really rough to be a home run derby participant. Let's see the cumulative data from 2015 to 2017. As you can see here, the average of all three was a one, or sorry, 138. You can see here in the new derby format, and then the average after the second half was 117. So overall, the data does show that it used to be a bigger impact doing the home run derby, but the last couple of seasons, I feel like they've been slowly shortening that gap. Players are learning how to participate in the home run derby and have a good second half it's kind of interesting though because like i said you're going to be really hot going into the home run derby if you are participating in it you know you're probably going to have 20 plus home runs you're going to be having a great first half so it's really hard to replicate that in the second half even without doing the home run derby so i don't really know it might just be a myth it might just be a legend but the numbers do show there is a little bit of a regression on average which i think is to be expected i think mo i feel like most all-stars have regression after the first half we've seen a lot of all-stars you know completely fall off a cliff after the all-star game yeah so overall i don't see a massive correlation in it i will say uh if you are on a you know having a red hot tear like aaron judge right now i probably wouldn't recommend aaron judge does it same thing with shohei otani but overall i don't think it is that big of a deal and there's definitely some outliers out there who the derby seems to improve their numbers and i think john carlos stanton should absolutely do the home run derby same thing with juan soto who's already announced he's doing it so it's gonna be really cool to see and don't forget to let me know in the comments who do you want to be in the home run derby with the remaining three spots that are still available i want to know uh, for me it's julio rodriguez uh, giancarlo stanton and probably i'd like to see shohei otani but realistically i think byron buxton's gonna do it i'm excited to be there i will be vlogging the home run derby the all-star game and the futures game it's going to be a blast so be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you can see all that content when it's getting released it's going to be a fantastic week next week i can't wait i'll have some scheduled uploads in between that i'm recording right now and frank's gonna help me edit so thank you guys for watching don't forget to sign up at thrive fantasy at the link in my description all the details are there for the promo and i'll see you guys in the next one y'all have a great rest of your day